Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Battle Cup, Haunted CC on the Grand Prix. Didn't they do an, a new game where they were, uh, the babies floating around and the Yoshis and shit? <laughs> I have no idea what the <laughs> fuck you're talking about. Yeah, right. Yo Yoshi's Island, when, uh, that game happened... Yoshi was trying to save all, or were trying to make sure all the baby Mario and Luigi guys were okay. Yeah. Did they redo that game? I have no idea. I'm trying to figure out where the fuck do these little, little kids came from. I honestly don't know. So, I'm about to get, uh, that leather-bound book oh, yeah. Yeah. for D&D &D soon, and so I was looking up new dice. I don't need new dice, but I figured, new why not? Ice. New dice. And I found this website where you can buy 50 pounds of dice, <laughs> and they have, like, all, all sizes. Uh, for 75 bucks. And they have like different variations of it. Yeah. They had one that was like 10 It's kind of like if pounds. you go to Gen Con for like 20 bucks or whatever, you can do like a picture of guys that you take a picture and just fucking scoop out as much as you fucking get in it. That's how I got like my. You get some shit and it's all kind of cheap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's tough to put sets together. I mean, I only found that site because I just googled. But it's nice that you just do need to start to marry guys. So that, then that got me looking. Because, um, you know, eventually we're going to start being DMs. I was like, I'm going I'm to need some extra yeah. dice. Uh, just for me. Yeah. And I was like, you know, I need a, uh, I need a good uh, like coin. You know, so I can just do a, an easy, you know, pick me for that. So I was, I was Googling coins and shit, and nothing cool came up, you know, you got your traditional D&D &D coin, which is an image of a 20-sided die, but it has 20 on one side and one on the other, I'm like, that's what, no. So I was like, you know what, I have the, I have the forging stuff, I'm just gonna make my own fucking coin. <laughs> I'm just gonna get a fuck fucking coin in my corner, like a two-tone color. Yeah. So I'm going to be carving it out of clay and then doing an imprint of it. And then doing my own casting with my own coins. Not sure what's going to be on the face or on the tail yet, but could be a butt. Yeah, so your face on one side and a butt on the other. <laughs> and which you know, side's tails? <laughs> that's what I was going to say, because you're a butthead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you could put Sonic and Tails. Or like a dick and then balls. <laughs> do you get the shaft or do you get the balls? Exactly. Ah, you got the shaft. Balls is better for it. Or like one side's like a bag of dicks, and the other side is just like I don't know, a bag of gold. One side's two dicks, on the other side's two bags of gold. Oh, nice. So a dick and a clown. I think I would just go with like a clam and, and like a mushroom. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. Fuck out of here, you mean the tower took a shit. And this level reminds me of like a lot of the old um, like Super Nintendo or Genesis games had a giant level where you're basically interacting with toys in like a kid's room. I remember that from so many fucking games. I know Mario had like a giant and tiny world, so Mario's a giant world. I remember it most from the Nessie Mario World, N64. How old is this game? Uh, 
this game? Uh, Mario Kart 8? Yeah. It went two years ago. Or it'll be two years this, like, May or whatever. That's great. Because in the yeah. background they had the, uh, the Yarn Yoshi. Oh, yeah, no, they, well, that's been, yeah. I don't imagine you think they would explore the Yarn Yoshi. Oh, yeah. Well, this was, well, also, this was, this level was a DLC, so it came out only a year ago. Oh, okay. So. It's pretty cool. See, there he is, over there. Yeah. There he is. Oh, my yeah, God, so cute. There's a couple of them in the level. Like, I would love to actually do, like, a life-size build of this stage. Like, you could do the room, and then, like, just do the track and just be, like, a uh, you can actually have those along the track and you can buy those. Yeah. Well, there's the green. And make the other parts, but yeah, you just need something to ruin that. It would be, uh... Yeah, like, a, just a scale model, like, for, like, fucking uh, Hot Wheels. <laughs> Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels, those little track things... I don't know if it was just because I was poor and I bought the shitty ones, but they never fucking worked right they, were, they were terrible. Well, it's like Mythbusters when they tried to do it, uh... Do a myth to see, which is faster down a hill, a Hot Wheels car or an actual sports car. The theory going with a Hot Wheels car will get up to its top speed much faster because uh, it has less inertia to overcome. But that eventually, just due to weight and gravity, the sports car in neutral will get win. But over like a hundred feet, I think they found the Hot Wheels one. Oh wow! Yeah, like over a short enough distance, the Hot Wheels definitely took off way faster because again, it has less inertia. To yeah, yeah. But they had to lay like a mile of that orange track on a road. Oh god! Yeah, because try and get it like flat and reliable so that the car doesn't bounce out of it. Exactly. Yeah. It's a good episode. I had to download their their latest season. I didn't watch any of it. I had all of it. No. Oh, it's got some good stuff. I just, the only thing I don't like about the last season and this one, I'm fine with them getting rid of the gold team. Like, it's a little sad, but, like, yeah. I can understand. And, like, the, the camera production went like, way off, which I love. Yeah. But they're only doing, like, one or two myths an episode, as opposed to they're only, like, three or four. Yeah. And then they're just taking, and it's not like they're showing a more in-depth process. They're just taking more time. You know? Yeah. Like, if they were showing way more detail about what they were doing and why, mm. it'd make... I'd be a little bit more okay with them doing only, like, one Because I think the last episode I saw, all they did was buy a Oh, I know this is their, their final... Fuel. Their final season. Alternate fuel, and they had a couple different variations, but it was the same basic myth. Just a couple different variations on it. Mm -hmm. Although, I gotta say, they did a, uh... 3D camera, yeah. or not 3D, uh, the 360 camera yeah, yeah, attached yeah. to the rocket, so oh. that as it's taking off, you can see in 3D, or 360, oh, where you around the rocket, and then once the parachute goes off, you can see it in the as it floats down. That's awesome. Yeah, those 360 cameras are really cool. Like, yeah, they've been doing a bunch of really cool I'm assuming it's basically just a bunch of, a bunch of cameras that were there. The, their lens range just overlap enough that it's yeah. it stitched together. There's a bunch of fish eye lenses that Yeah, so that way you can... Uh, Same thing Google's been doing for years with their street cam view. Yeah. And that way you can grab it and spin it around, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So you're basically just watching a ton of different videos stitched together. Uh, but no, that's, that's just real cool. Yeah. Like, I love, like, that would be great in a lot. Like, just right in the center, ceiling, like... Yeah, like, yeah. Fucking three. If we can get, like, that kind of camera set up for, like, when we're doing the uh, extra life event, that'd be awesome. Oh, that'd be the most amazing thing. Like, no, have it, ha like, hanging perfectly just above eye line in the middle of the game table. So you can look down and see all the game stuff whenever you want. You can see people talking. Yeah, yeah. Like, let the experience, you direct it, you can watch it. You know, obviously we'd have, like, still have probably a shot version where it's cut, you know. Like, if we were doing, like, our D&D &D show, we, I'd love to have that. Well, actually, I wonder if from that, depending on the cameras, if you could then just take feeds from specific cameras on it 
and like edit it together to an actual sh edited show, but then still have people like. So you could have like a show where it cuts camera shot to shot, like but a you normal can, one. But, you but then there would it. also be the second video where it's all stitched together and people can do the 360 if they want. Man, that'd be awesome. All those 360 cams are worth a lot of fucking money, though. Yeah, I can't imagine they're cheap. Oh, I wonder if there's a way to do a cheap version. Yeah, build our own. We probably like, could. Like, web, like decent webcams or something, run them all into like a hub. Something like this. If there was a way to do that, even if we needed one computer just to handle that, or yeah. if it records it all and stitches it together later, even just recording it all, then we'd have great angles of everything. Yeah, we'll have to research it. Yeah, there has to be something up there. It'd be awesome that a game is show really cool. Like, we actually could, we could just be like 360 tabletop. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that could be what we do for D&D, make yeah. it special. Yeah, that way you can control, you can see the board and the boss the player. The only thing I could see where that would be annoying is like if you just want to watch a show. Like if you leave it in the camera. Like it'd be awesome if you could do a hybrid of the 360, but like you would still, like as long as you're using shots only from that camera, like you could have it specifically go to like, say it records everything, then you could go back in and say, okay, at this minute, go to this particular angle or shot. Yeah. That way, if you're watching it, you could like it would focus on what you think are the most important things in a second. Like it would focus on who's talking. Or movement on the game. Yeah. But, but have then it be if like, you want, you can override that by just clicking. And, yeah, where you can be like, hey, I don't, I want to turn that feature off. I want to watch whatever I want to watch. Yeah. Or hey, I want you to point me to which is the best scene to watch. Yeah, because otherwise, like with the 360, if you don't have it pointed, like, it'd be fine to listen, but it would be a bitch if you were trying to, like, follow conversation and go back and forth. Yeah. Like, that'd be annoying. Ooh, I like this idea, though. Or too. even just having it as an option. Like, or for even, like, live events with, like, Rock Band or just any games going, just having it, like, sitting there so people can see around the room. Yeah. Like, live event type stuff, that'd be perfect. Like, fuck it, we're having a party, we're live streaming. Because I definitely could use that. That'd and have awesome. that pick up, like, room audio, because... Oh, yeah. The video we got now, Rock Band, with no... You can't hear anybody talking. Yeah. Not that interesting. No. But, eh. Yeah, the 360 would be way cooler uh, for watching the rock band, even if you can't hear us talking as much, like, right. while we're playing and if you can hear the music or whatever. We can still go to the next yeah, Look at that, another 60 if you start on. That's uh, okay. 100cc finito now. Yeah? Done and done. That sounds uh, pretty sexy. Hell yeah, bitch. So now we just got a uh, 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 150 Riff. mirror 200. So we're like two fifths of the way. Three days. That's cool. It's more than a third. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Yeah.